I was reading around uh, uh, job, job employment in Papua New Guinea. So Papua New Guinea is a way you may you know, got plenty of work available for our new graduates or new entry. Plenty all finish work now, you may start nothing, nothing now. Some of the time you may lose thinking or something, you may learn in the school and kind of same, but then you got all one one, all work will make him through. If you look at uh, the job market in the country, you look at our daily newspapers as well the, as the online jobs that are available. Good number of jobs that are coming out every year, every day, every month. And I think um, most of the time we fail to sell ourselves to those jobs. And I think uh, uh, because uh, as a student you don't have the you don't have the experience to convince the employers that you are the right candidate for for those positions they are putting out and and this really had seen young people who are graduating from the university and you know they just feel that they cannot do anything at all and they just wait and wait and wait and sometimes you know they ended up doing other things that they were not supposed to do and as a country we we need to really Look at us in each other. Me, me like sharing little experience to solve me one time. Uh, how me been kissing first blow work for me. <coughs> and now Mr. Bosem coming up now. Um, if if you are in school, first year, second year, third year, or fourth year student, uh, there's always opportunity to do volunteer work in school. And I think um, from from my experience, it really really helped to build your CV up. As much as possible, you must do uh, volunteer work in school, and also this also includes the leadership roles that you play in, in, in different levels um, in, in any capacity that uh, you want to do at school. So, <clears throat> you know, I've I've never been part of big leadership roles in Unitech, but I had my say a bit of say at the level where I can show that leadership at school and uh, I think this really really helped me. Also the other thing that I I realized is while I was still in the studies we not only have trips out in different provinces within the highlands and Momase and so we normally visit the Medeng during those trips I normally get the business cards of potential employers <laughs> and you don't know who you who you're gonna meet and that's one thing about life. And so I normally collect all business cards along the way. And when I when I was doing my final year, I pulled out all the business cards I had with me and I, I started listing them. I noticed that now I have to start applying for jobs. And at the time, my interest was in environmental conservation. And while I was into my final year, I started making my mind up that I'm going to take environmental conservation in my work and uh, that was it my mind was made up I started pulling out the cards of all the NGOs potential NGOs that I have with me I started writing a letter of interest so within the second semester of my final year I started applying for for the job I started expressing my interest to the potential employers and I remember almost all NGOs with within Goroka Medeng and Lay, I applied for the job. I expressed my interest to them. I didn't receive any response from from those NGOs that I applied for. They didn't acknowledge any of it. I didn't receive any calls up until the, the final week coming up to my graduation in 2019. So I was supposed to graduate in April 5th, 2019. The week before, I received a call from a landline number. And I was thinking, who would call me on a landline number? And and so I answered the phone and it was a call from a medic. And uh, it was a call from the Worldwide Fund for Nature, WWF. They said, hello, Elijah. We have received your expression of interest and we really want to engage you as a field assistant to assist us with our field work. And at the time, I was really, really excited. And um, I was actually assisting my uncle Ray in students at Kanampa Ford in Kainampu. <laughs> and so when I received the call, I was very happy because it was a sort of a present for me for my, my graduation as well. So 
I took up the offer. I signed off the contract, sent them. And so after the graduation uh, on the April 5th, the next Friday they flew me from Goroka to Port Mosby. And that was also my first trip to Port Mosby. I've never been on a plane. Plus my sister, yeah. And so it was, uh, it was an exciting trip. That was it. I secured my first job as a field assistant. And, and so after the first trip, um, we headed to Kutubu. We did some field work in Lake Kutubu. And so after the first trip, uh, they were impressed. They uh, re-engaged me on, on the second trip again within the same year. And so I assisted the team again to do another trip. So later in 2022, I was offered a full contract. And that was it. And looking at that, it was it was really tough getting into into a real job. I really want to encourage young people. <laughs> Build up your CV. Don't look at the bigger things. Just do some simple volunteer work in school. Assist your department in doing some volunteer work. Also look at the departmental leadership roles. You don't need to be a president of the school. Just do little where you can. And that's it. Start applying during your final year. Don't wait for the year and then that you apply for jobs. Start applying for jobs when you are in school because you have a data, you have your computer there, and your mind is still fresh. You start applying for jobs of your field, and out of 20 application seasons, you may receive one. That's it. That's your first job.